this is Mary over at Images on the Page, and today I will be reviewing The Love Interest by Cal Dietrich. This is going to be a mostly spoiler-free review. It is about these kids who are kidnapped at birth or taken at birth. There's a lot of confusion on what actually happens. Are they given? Are they taken? But so they are raised in this compound that teaches them to be spies. And the way that they are spies is by becoming love interests of influential people. So politicians, scientists, athletes, anyone who and they believe will have power or influence in the world are people that they want them to become a love interest of. And while they are learning, they are kept at this com compound, so they never really get to go outside or anything like that. So they have to actually do tests for keeping up with pop culture, which is kind of interesting. And they are separated into bads and nices. It's a weird word. So bads are your typical brooding, tortured soul people. And the nices are the gentleman or the good girl. And they are courtly, nice, that type of thing. And they are they're sent out in pairs to try to catch the interest of this boy or girl to try to become their significant other so that they can steal their secrets. And then they report back to the compound with those secrets, they tell them, and the compound sells the secrets to basically, I'm assuming, the highest bidder so that whoever buys the information can do with it what they will, be it from create chaos, cause conflict, temple empires, you name it, they, they sell that kind of information. This story is told in first perspective of one of the boys who is determined to be a nice, and they do that by like personality, they do a lot of tests and stuff. And we later find he's later named Caden, but in the beginning he doesn't have a name because most of the boys in, or most of the kids in the compound do not have names, they just have numbers. Well, Caden is chosen as the nice, and his competition, Dylan, is chosen as the bad, and they are chosen to go become the love interest of this girl, Juliet, who is considered a genius and an inventor. And so they have to try to get, become one of, become her love interest or significant other so that they can report on her secrets back to the compound. And they're basically in competition with each other because whoever doesn't win is killed, which is a pretty rough shtick. What's really interesting about this is we find that out that Caden is gay and that Dylan ends up reciprocating his feelings. So it's about two gay spies, which is really awesome and really cool. And there's this really interesting moment when Caden realizes it. It's kind of like an aha moment where he realizes that he is more physically sexually attracted to Dylan, his com competitor, than he is to Juliet. He just kind of sees Juliet as a friend and it's just kind of an interesting moment which I mean it felt really genuine for me because I am not a gay boy but I identify as asexual and so I kind of had that same moment that like where everything just kind of clicks into place and I thought it was really a really sincere genuine moment and I really like that because it wasn't just like he realized it all the time, he didn't know about it since birth, it was just kind of like he had never thought about it before, and then once he realized all the signs, it was just like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's me. And it was interesting how it wasn't, it didn't seem to be an issue personally for Caden that he's gay, but it was an issue in the fact that he is supposed to be the love interest of this girl, and he is not interested in her, he is interested in his competitor, Dylan. And it was just a really interesting situation. And I thought it was kind of a cool commentary almost. I don't know if that's the right word. But kind of how like it's okay to be gay in public, but you don't want to flaunt it. So like out in public, in your job, it's it's just kind of don't ask, don't tell, like don't talk about it. And it was kind of like that was that was what was happening here, because he had no issue with it personally, but because of his job to be the spy, to be the love interest of this girl, he couldn't be free with himself. And 
So that was, I thought that was really interesting. I, it really, really got me in the heart a couple times. It was very, um, like, there was some angst in there. It was really good. I mean, I ended up reading it in a day, so it was really wonderful. I did give this 3.75 stars. There is one thing that kept me from giving it, like, a full four stars. This is going to be a mostly spoiler-free review. I am mostly going to talk about it in general terms, and I'm not going to give a spoiler away, except for there are some issues I have with the ending. So if you don't want to be spoiled and you don't want to hear that part, I'm going to put a big sign right before I start talking about it that says spoiler on it, and I'll put it at the end when I'm done talking about it so that you can skip from that part to the end of it so that you don't be spoiled, just because... I do have to talk about the ending because it was there was a bit of an issue for me. So the the reason that I didn't give it even a full four stars or four and a half stars was because of the ending. We find out later, mostly towards the end of the book, that Dylan was just kind of playing along with Caden's feelings to try to get him to lose the competition, which makes sense because that's what they're that's what they're supposed to be doing. Um, and I didn't have an issue with that so much, because that's the, that's the rule of the game. But it was, as we continued on, it was, it was starting to show that Dylan, after saying all that and kind of breaking Kaden's heart, that he was straight and didn't feel anything from him at all, he actually was starting to show emotions and everyone was like no he actually feels things for you like Juliet and some of the other characters were like no he he actually cares for you and then there's an epilogue about a year later where they are together in a loft and it's implied that they're naked or most they're at least shirtless my big issue with this and it could be because it was told from first person so we just get Caden's point of view but my my problem with this was like it was all of a sudden it was just like, oh no, I don't feel anything for you. And then it just felt like an easy ending. Like that. They had no other, they didn't, they wanted to have a happy ending. And so they let them be together, even though like, I guess I just wanted more to be able to see more of Dylan's point of view, just because that is one of my favorite tropes where the guy thinks he's straight or whatever, or he's, always dated girls in the past but there's just like this one guy who he's really interested in because I think that's more how sexuality works that it's not so black and white that like even though you may be straight like there might still be f characteristics or personalities in this in your the same gender that attract you and so I I always really like that trope but it was just it seemed too sudden to me in this one where it was just like oh I don't have any feelings for you and then, bam, they still end up together. And so that was that was my big issue. But overall, I did really enjoy this book. I did really like that um, at least one of the main character was gay. For most of the time, you assume that the other guy character was gay, Dylan. Juliet was not a cookie-cutter female. She was very into science, very smart. And funny and it was just interesting because there was another girl character Natalie and like they were not the same character they did not sound the same they did not act the same which I thought was really nice because that's sometimes it seems like what happens when like girls are side characters was just like oh they're just these stock characters and none of the characters in here were stock characters they were all they could they could be real people besides them being spies for influential people that type of thing so those are my thoughts on The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich, and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta for now!